Yo, what's going on, boys? It's your boy Dobbs here, and this is Q&A episode 4 with your boy Dobbs. Thank you guys for asking the questions. I have a whole bunch of questions uh, lined up. Keep asking them down below. I got a, probably a f good three episodes of all the questions you guys asked me, so keep asking them down below, and I'll keep providing these videos. I really like this series, so uh, keep it up, boys, and let's get started. First question comes from Oh My God's Birdman. Hey, could I add you on Xbox? And here's a question. What team do you think has the best defenseman for the first line? So the Xbox, um, it's really tough because I have a full friends list right now and I want to give everyone a chance to be on my friends list. So I'm probably going to do something like after a month if you guys have been on my friends list. I'll give you guys like a month or something like that and I'd have to, uh, I don't want to delete you but I'd have to so I can give everyone else a chance. But if you are on my friends list already, please follow me on Twitter. You will be notified there when I host open lobbies for Black Ops, NHL, OTPs, all that stuff if I'm doing shootouts, whatever. Um, you guys will know there, and you won't know on YouTube, so please drop a follow on Twitter. Uh, it will be in my, I think it's my description annotation on the screen. Please drop a follow, though, and uh, you guys will be notified there. So, ho for right now, um, I'd have to say no, but um, hopefully I can do a clean out and I can add you. So, probably in a month's time or something like that, and uh, just hit me up or whatever, and I'll be... Uh, more than glad to add you guys because I really want to give everyone a chance and um, it's not really fair for everyone. I know 100 people is not a lot. It seemed a lot when I wasn't on YouTube, but um, a lot of you guys really want to be on my friends list. So I'll try my best to uh, give everyone an equal chance. So um, hopefully I answered your question there. And what team do you think has the best defenseman for the first line? I'd have to go with the Boston Bruins right now. Zdeno Chara, Big Z. He's, that guy can do it all back there. Like, that guy's amazing. What, like, 113 slap shot? I can't remember. This guy's got the fastest slap shot going. He's just amazing. Like, it doesn't even have to do with power, body checking, or anything. He can do it all. Zidane Char is, like, the best defenseman. But, honestly, before Lindstrom retired, I'd have to say Lindstrom because Lindstrom was the smartest player. He wouldn't really throw the body all the time, but he could make an impossible situation into something possible. That guy could do it. So I'd have to go with Lidstra before. Now it would have to be uh, Boston's Zidane Chara. And um, when Zidane Chara retires, I'd have to give it to Shea Weber because he's the young version of Chara, in my opinion. So I'm going to have to go with the Bruins Zidane Chara on that one. So thanks for the question. Hopefully it answers it. Next question comes from Econ219. Other than 2BC Productions, who do you think is the best NHL YouTuber? I'd have to go with Nasher61 on this one. I've watched NHL videos um, starting with Nasher and 2BC. Uh, 2BC first, and then it ended up being Nasher. He's my second source. Um, just an amazing guy. The guy's shootouts and stuff like that. That's where I um, watched his first videos. They were just amazing. They, like My jaw dropped the first time I watched one of them, and they were just such sick moves. So instantly subscribe there. And um, at the time, I wasn't recording NHL videos. And uh, he was my main inspiration and 2BC to start uh, making YouTube commentaries, I guess you can say. And um, just amazing work. Like, uh, commentary, shootouts, everything. I was just... I could watch anything that came from both those channels. So, uh, just huge inspirations to me. I'm just... Uh, I'm privileged to work with Nasher with the podcast and stuff like that. Get to know him better. Have him on my friends list. All that good stuff. Get to play. Um, some Black Ops and stuff like that. So it's just a privilege all around uh, to see, I guess, one of my inspirations I get to play with and stuff like that. So um, thanks a lot, Nasher. I guess a big shout out to you. And um, I, yeah, I'd have to go with Nasher. And right behind that, I'd have to go with Dan Man. That's um, kind of out of the, uh, I guess, question. But I have to go with Dan Man right behind Nasher, even though uh, Dan Man had copyright strikes or something like that. So that's really unfortunate. Never started back up. But um, definitely Nasher 61. So hopefully I answered your question, man. Next question comes from Spezza18. Who is your favorite player and your least favorite player? Well, obviously, Pavel Datsuk's my favorite player and my least favorite player. Get ready for it. Ryan fucking Kessler. I hate that prick. Ooh, I hate Ryan Kessler, man. I'm sorry, Vancouver fans. I'm sorry, Cruiser. But um, I just hate. Uh, I despise Kessler. I don't know. He's just... I, I hate his play style. I just hate everything about Kessler. Hate everything about the Canucks. Just, man, I hate the Canucks. So I have to go with Datsu who's my favorite player and Kessler is my least favorite player. Hopefully that answers your question. The next question comes from Brent Page and he asks, Most underrated player, current and all time? I really like this question. I have a few for the current and uh, maybe like one or two for all time. So let's get started with the current. Um, Nick Cromwell. I don't care. He could be in any jersey. Vancouver, Nashville, 
whatever, Leafs, I don't care. This guy is underrated. Type in Cromwell on YouTube and tell me your job won't drop after some of these hits. Bone crunching hits. This guy can dish it out. But um, he's really well known for his hits. But uh, all in all, he's just a really smart defenseman. And he does not get, I guess, um, he does not get what he deserves like the recognition stuff like most players do but uh they don't deserve it nearly as much as Cromwell so um definitely uh Nick Cromwell and there's a lot on the Dallas Stars I got a three of them uh Louis Erickson Jamie Benn and Mike Ribeiro I'm gonna put Mike Ribeiro in there even though he got traded he hasn't played a game for the Caps but I'm gonna go with Mike Ribeiro but uh definitely Louis Erickson this guy's the most underrated player currently I have to say um Louis Erickson just because he doesn't play on a original six team or a playoff performing team that um He's not noted. Like, I just hate that. Same thing with Colorado. Duchesne's not really noted. Uh, he is here and there, but he deserves a lot more attention, I think. Um, Landeskog, I guess Colorado's w- really well noted uh, now, kind of. They, like, they're getting more like the Oilers. Like, the Oilers are well known for Taylor Hall, Nugent Hopkins, Jordan Eberle, all those players. And um, Colorado's coming along, but I don't know. Like, what about Dallas? Like, what's the big thing against Dallas? Jamie Ben's so talented. These guys are so young. And uh, they have a lot more ahead of them. So definitely those guys. And Mike Ribeiro, have you seen some of his shootout moves? Have you seen uh, his behind-the-back dangle? Just type in behind-the-back uh, Mike Ribeiro uh, dangle, something like that. And tell me this guy, this guy's so underrated. Just the Dallas Stars team, uh, once they work on their defense and stuff like that, I think they can be a really good team in the future. And their pickups of uh, Yarmie Yager and I believe uh, Derek Roy. So, uh, I mean, they could be a really good team offensively-wise. So watch out uh, for them in the Minnesota Wild, too. Um, they could really uh, creep up and uh, possibly be uh, playoff uh, contenders. So watch out for them. And I'd have to say Justin Williams for this season, even though you didn't ask for this season. Justin Williams is so underrated. He scores more points than Mike Richards. Um was it Jeff Carter and Kopitar, something like that, and he's not noted one bit, like, I, I love Mike Richards, I love Kopitar, love Kopi, I mean, it's just Justin Williams definitely deserves a lot more attention, and I don't know why he doesn't get more attention, I just don't get it with some of these players, it just doesn't make sense, it doesn't add up to me, so definitely Justin Williams for this season, and all-time Yuri Curry, hands down, I don't care what you say, argue about it all day, whatever, this guy is a legend. He helped out Gretzky tremendously. And people, many people probably like, who the hell is Yuri Curry? Man, like, you guys have to see some of these highlights, how, like, he's helped out Gretzky tremendously. Like, and he's not noted one bit. And, um, he turned out to be a superstar for himself. He's a legend for Christ's sakes. Like, and he gets not, he doesn't even get noted for it. It's so annoying, man. Like, I just hate when that happens to players. It's so unfortunate. And um, players like Scott Gomez and all these players, um, big salary contracts, Rick DiPietro, they get all this um, tender love and care and they don't live up to it. I just hate it, man. It's so annoying. But definitely those guys and Yuri Curry for all time. So thanks for the question. Hopefully that answers it. I'm going to fit in a couple, uh, three or more uh, short answer questions. I'll leave the rest uh, for next video. But uh, next comes some Furtive Slayer. I believe that's how you pronounce it. What kind of capture card do you have? I have a Hapog HD PVR uh, 1212 edition. I believe it's the 2011 model. So it's the big bulky one. I don't have an Elgato or anything like that. I don't have a Roxio. But the uh, good old classic HD PVR is what I record with. And hopefully that answers your question. Next question comes from Ovechkin88874, funniest NHL commentators and best friends from YouTube you have met. Okay, so funniest commentators have to be Mulgold and Bacon Country. I've known Mulgold for a really long time now. Just the way he explains stuff, just the way he says stuff, like flying titties, you'll say like the ran- most random stuff. And uh, he's just really funny all in all. He's a really good guy. I've talked to him for a while, so um, I guess it was a privilege to talk to him. He's just a really good guy, like I said. And um, Bacon Country as well. This guy, <laughs> he's an up-and-coming YouTuber. Uh, he has like 300 subs. It could be even more. I, that's the last time I checked. That's what I. That's the number I remember in my head. But I could be completely wrong. But um, Bacon Country, he deserves a lot more subs. Uh, he has a really good sub count as it is. But I think he deserves a lot more. And hopefully I can help him out with this little shout I'm going to give him. So hopefully you guys can go check out Bacon Country. as like the funniest NHL trolling videos you guys will ever see. I'm always in tears watching this guy's videos and um they're original and they're so funny so please go drop by his channel tell him i sent you and uh, he'll be happy with that response so please go do that boys my best friends i've met from youtube personally is uh b synced i've known him before he's even started youtube uh he's known me before i started youtube etc but um 
Yeah, he's basically the only guy I know face to face that I've uh, came in contact with. Uh, he's one of my best friends at school. His name's Riley. Be synced on YouTube, like I said. And um, he's at the 600 subscriber mark, I believe. So um, please, I'm going to leave an annotation on the screen. Same thing. Uh, please leave a subscription on his channel if you haven't already. And tell him I sent you because I just want to help a couple people this video. And uh, he said to start um, numerous channels because of uh, copyright issues and he wanted to get partnered and such. So he would have been at, like the 1,000 subscriber mark easily. And it's just unfortunate to see that he's only at the 600, but he deserves a 1,000. So um, please leave a subscription. It'll help it a lot. And uh, like I said, um, just tell him I sent you and uh, he'll be really happy with that response. I think most of my subscribers are from the Toronto area, which is kind of neat too. Um, whenever I play with my subscribers or they inbox me, they ask me where I'm from. I'm just outside the Toronto area and usually they're like an hour apart from me, so that's kind of neat too. And if you guys know Bones On Demand, he's just outside the Toronto area or in the Toronto area, somewhere around Toronto, uh, really close by to me. And um, I stumbled upon his channel uh, one day and um, I never commented or anything like that. I was just, I've been watching his videos for some time. And um, I believe he commented on one of mine, and then we just started talking back and forth. And um, me and Bones are really similar. It's kind of weird. We talk the same. Uh, I guess we share, like, the same um, interests, like, hockey and stuff like that, obviously. And uh, we started YouTube like, around the same time period, too. So um, it's just really weird how similar we are. And um, I don't know. We talked about it the other day, and I just found it funny. So um, it's just really weird. I find it really cool. And um, that's basically the only guy I know personally is B-Sync, but I can see where Bones On Demand's coming from and Superb Man, stuff like that. Um, I can understand their uh, their lingo, I guess you could say, the way of language. It's, it's different down in Toronto and Ajax. Um, I have uh, different tendencies than other people uh, when I say stuff and stuff like that. And um, we basically have our own different language, but um, just thought I'd throw that out there. Those are all the questions for this episode, guys. I know this is a really long episode. Hopefully, you guys stuck around. And if you'd like to more, ask more questions, leave some comments down in the comment section below. And they'll be answered in future episodes. But once again, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, guys. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.